Welcome back. Whether you're a training for a marathon or just enjoying an evening walk, we all depend on what? Our knees for support and function. That's for sure. But for people with a very common joint problem that's called osteoarthritis, pain can severely limit activities. And joining us now to talk more about a new procedure called makoplasty is Dr. Michael Anderson. He's an orthopedic surgeon with Aurora Advanced Healthcare. Nice to have you on the show yes, today. To Thank you so much. Hello. So let's talk a little bit first about osteoarthritis. Is it one of the most common problems? or one of the, the main reasons that people have pain in the knee? Correct. Osteoarthritis would just mean sort of a wear and tear process of arthritis that forms in the knee. Uh, essentially what we're seeing over time is that the cartilage surface, the white shiny cartilage on the end of the bone will start to wear. Um, can be from a number of reasons. A lot of people that have knee issues have had injuries when they've been high school or young adults. They have knee arthroscopy to clean the knee up and gradually the stresses on the knee are more than the cartilage can uh, perform, starts to break down, start to have pain, and that's what starts to develop osteoarthritis. It is the most common type of arthritis that we'll see in the knee. Okay. Now you're going to be talking about a new procedure that can, that can make a difference. It's kind of a new on the market. Correct. Ma Makoplasty. It's a, it, it's a partial knee replacement. Now partial knee replacements have been around since the 70s. And our usual way of, of putting in partial knee replacements is some guidance with uh, what we call external uh, al alignment of the knee and looking at knee, when we, we look at the knee surgically and realigning it as best we can with, mm -hmm. our, with our eyes and with the tools that we have. Uh, Makoplasty is a system that's been developed that's actually a computer generated uh, si uh, system that will align the implant correctly based on every patient individually. So not only do we see difference in patient's anatomy where the sizes and the rotation will be different, we also see different wear patterns of the arthritis that form. We have some pictures to kind of help demonstrate what you're talking about because this is, you know, something that we said is new, but there is something about it that makes it unique, right? Right, and the unique feature about uh, the MAKO is we feed the information and, and, and develop a plan into the computer, and then we have a computer robotically assisted uh, guidance system, and this uh, shows how the uh, is that surgeon you? now <laughs> I have more gray hair. That looks the, pretty uh, high tech. It is, and that and and the computer uh, aligns that robotic arm and the robotic guidance to within tenths of a millimeter. Usually, when we um, look at doing things surgically, we we do a very good job. You know, uh, when we do things with our own eyes and with our own tools, but we're usually within a few millimeters. This gets the precision back much better. And we know that uh, with knee alignment systems, if we can put them in very correctly, rotation, realign the knee very well, they will last longer. And there have been some studies that have looked at makoplasty that's been out now for about five years uh, around the country, and the results do look better, and the parts do last better, they feel better, and patients have less pain after surgery. Now, you, who's the best candidate for this? Somebody who's in mid to mid-stage osteoarthritis. Correct. Usually osteoarthritis is a, is a progression of the disease. Most common thing we'll see in this country is it starts in the inner or the medial compartment and then we'll progress over. Now this is a surgical procedure so we are looking at people that have a fair bit of pain in the knee. Most commonly we would use things like unloader braces, physical therapy, injections in the knee, and those are all for early stage uh, arthritis. When those fail to provide relief, the, the, the arthritis has progressed further, then we look at surgical options. Now, uh, surgical options in this country will be over a million knee replacements that'll be done. This would be what we consider conventional knee replacements. MAKO is about 10 to 12 percent of those candidates. The arthritis has to be only in one or two compartments of the knee, not globally across the knee for makoplasty um, to be a, a, a possible candidate. And also the knee has to be still in fairly good shape. The knee cannot be severely stiff uh, and the ligament balance of the knee still has to be intact. You brought some um, uh, <clears throat> joints kind sure. of to, to help explain it because this is sort of, this replaces a partial um, knee replacement and right. it's more of like a resurfacing, right? So just real Correct. quickly, can you kind of demonstrate what the procedure sure. does? And we'll start, well, I'll start with a, a, a conventional knee replacement. So a conventional knee replacement, and really these are kind of resurfacing, these are all resurfacing implants. We don't chop, you know, inches above and below and then put a whole new module in. These are resurfacing implants and you can see that in this case here, it's called a total because it goes completely across the femur and completely across the tibia and the metal pieces are affixed to the bones and then there's a plastic bushing that sits between the two and that's what you guide with. Oh, okay. Usually these involve removal of one or two ligaments of the knee. Okay. Uh, with makoplasty and the difference that we talked about being earlier arthritis, we can use <clears throat> makoplasty 
for either inner or patellofemoral replacements or outer compartmental replacements, usually one, sometimes two, but never three of the, of the services. You can see here, though, that the pieces are, indeed, they're smaller. And what the advantage there is we're not taking away extra bone, we're not taking away extra ligaments, and we're not taking away any uh, normal cartilage that the person may still have in their joint. So it's sort of less, it's a less invasive procedure, and we get to machine the pieces in and get them to fit very well based on each patient's specific anatomy. Well, and the accuracy of it, I think, is what's incredible um, as you're able to use this um, robotic new procedure. And the only facility in Wisconsin right now to use makoplasty right now, is that right? Well, southeastern Wisconsin. There are a couple of units el uh, elsewhere around, around the state, but Aurora Sinai Medical Center uh, is the only facility around southeastern Wisconsin uh, that has the uh, robotic system right now. It's definitely worth asking about because it sounds much more conservative, a great first step too. So if you'd like more information about makoplasty or to find a physician who specializes in this new procedure, you can call the number that you see there on your screen. It's 888-863-5502. Nice to have you on the morning plan. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for having me.